Welcome to In Instant Classics, where we're covering Paul Dore, or Paul Dore, as some call him in America, the perhaps the foremost wood graving, wood engraver in the history of art. He's wonderful. He has very prolific. He turns out all sorts of beautiful images. Uh, he was, just for some background on him, he was born Paul Gustave Louis Christophe Dore, or Dore, as a French artist, printmaker, illustrator, comic artist. He was a caricaturist and a sculptor who worked primarily with wood engravings. Born in Strasbourg, he by the age of five, was considered a prodigy because of his ability to draw, draw and draft. He created drawings that were so mature and beyond his years that he became famous at a young age. At the age of 15, he began his career working as a caricaturist for the French pa uh, paper, Le Journal Pour Rire, uh, the Journal of Laughter. Doré Dur subsequently went on to win commissions to depict scenes from books by Cervantes, Rabelais, Balzac, Milton. And of course, Dante, his famous illustrations for the Bible, 1866, were a huge success. And in 1867, he had a major exhibit of his artwork in London. Uh, Dürer was mainly celebrated for his paintings in his day, but his painting, and it, while his paintings remain world renowned, his woodcuts and engravings are where he excelled. He was born in 1832, he died in 1883. And today, for the final, talk, uh, final consideration of the work of this great wood engraver, we take a look at Cervantes. Uh, Don Quixote. Here is the wonderful scene in Don Quixote where uh, our, our, our intrepid knight, Quixote, is tilting against windmills, right? He and his loyal follower, uh, Panzas, right? That the, the two were galloping off to meet all sorts of imaginary, fictionary uh, dreamscape enemies. Uh, old uh, Quixote had read far too many romances and lost himself in that chivalric romantic code. And there you see one of the blades of a windmill, knock, windmill knocking him off his horse and, and the, as the horse rears up. And so this is what we get the famous phrase, tilting at windmills, somebody who uh, goes rushing in, in the words of Hamlet, where angels fear to tread, and yet finds themselves in these sort of quixotic kind of quest. And that word, quixotic, comes from Quixote, doesn't it? And one of those English words, to be quixotic, is to be like Quixote, right? A quixotic person is somebody who has uh, his brash. He doesn't uh, uh, realize sometimes that there's more danger in front of him than he thinks. He boldly goes where no man chooses to go. Uh, so very quixotic. Take a look at the last picture too. Here's another one of those great engravings by by the by the wood engraver Dur uh, or Doré. It's Sancho. It's a Quixote in his study, and there he is reading yet another one of his 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 beloved romances. And you can see all of the mythical characters, all the, 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 the knights on quests, all of the damsels in distress, all of the dragons that needed to be slayed. There they are in his imagination, hovering all around his head, all around his library there. So uh, what, it's a wonderful depiction from uh, Dur of, of, of what kind of fantasy, what kind of a mind somebody like D Don Quixote would actually have had. Yeah.